Hey everyone and welcome back. My name is Sam. And I'm Melissa. And I'm Teffy. And Teffy is back finally. Woohoo! <laughs> <me> long enough. <laughs> I yes, know. The long awaited video of the poof. Ah! We're finally here. We're finally going to do it as we promised. Yes, and if you guys want to hear more about what it was like for Sam and Teffy growing up in a polygamous community and family, please like and subscribe. And we are so excited about this, and hopefully yep. you guys are too, where Teffy is going to give me a makeover. A full polygamous makeover. An so. un, an unmakeover? I guess it'd be an unmakeover. An unmakeover. Exactly. I like that better. Okay. okay. <laughs> unmakeover as far as makeup goes and add a nice poof to the hair here. A nice poof to the hair. <laughs> a twist on it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Teffy's gonna show us all of her mad skills and what it was like to get ready. Um I may be rusty. Yeah, I mean, a few gonna, years. I'm, I'm sure it's like riding a bike, though. I was gonna say you've done it probably what hundreds and hundreds of times. So true, but it's, it's like riding a, few a bike. Years, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'll do great. So first step is you have to start with your hair wet, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash my hair. Is there anything specific you guys would do like for washing your hair? Did you guys have any specific routine for your hair? Not really, just shampoo, conditioner. Okay. Did we do the set? Did we do the set? Okay. And you, you didn't, did you blow dry your hair or just let it mm, um, I've air dry? Some people did, but we didn't. You didn't have blow dryers. Dry. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll I'll start with it. getting my hair nice and shampooed, conditioned, and ready to rumble here in a second. We'll be right back. And I'm back with freshly washed and conditioned hair. And while Teffy goes to brush through my hair real quick and get us started, I have got to do a shout out to our sponsor of this video, which is Maury. Um, their hair stuff, I had them send it to me because I said, okay, like I'm not down to sponsor anything that I have not tried and love first. So they sent me their starter kit and I am in love with it. Like absolutely in love with it. Um, she won't stop talking about it. No, I won't stop talking about it. I even tried it this morning. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Was awesome. I was telling Tuffy about it. I was like, okay, if you're going to go take a shower, you have got to try this. And yeah, even yeah. the very first time, right? Yeah. It's like my hair is so soft and smooth. It's silky. So uh, but, soft yeah. and smooth. And she'll show you like brushing through it right now. If you want to brush through my hair, you can, Tuffy. Okay. But um, brushing through it, my hair, oh my gosh, even just a couple weeks ago, I went um, to get my hair colored and I was talking to uh, my hair person about it and I was like, my hair has always been so hard to brush through. Teffy's seen it before, like yeah. how hard it is to brush through my hair and it takes me like 15 minutes, bad tangles, like so bad. And my person was like, uh, let me spray this stuff on it and it should, you know, it should help and it barely helped at all. And I was like, oh my gosh, do you see what I'm talking about? She's like, I've never seen hair before like yours where it was so hard to brush through. The first time I used the shampoo and conditioner and I used their hair mask as well. And it's like this. Like, look, Teddy's been like, brushing through no it twice. Struggles. It's I, so smooth. I have to say here as well really fast. I tried brushing my wife's hair at one point. And after about 15 minutes of almost breaking the brush, I finally just gave up and I said, you know what? I, I'm not doing this anymore. I cannot yeah. brush through your hair. And then she let me try it again after using this product. And it was, I mean, we're talking, it, it, I, it took me what, maybe one minute? Yeah, one minute to brush through it all. And seriously, even my hairstylist and her magic stuff at the salon could not do what these did. So the shampoo and conditioner are amazing. I've tried the hair mask and then the growth spray. I've only been using it for a couple weeks. But what I love about it is that you spray it on your scalp, actually down to the hair follicle. Okay, it has fulvic acid in it. And that is what helps be able to grow your hair. Anything that you spray on the bottom, like your hair's already dead. It just didn't ever make sense to me. So when it you're spraying it down at the roots, where it actually makes sense it's going to make a difference so i'm so excited to see how the growth spray works but the hair mask has been amazing the shampoo and conditioner i would show you the hair mask i literally lent it out to my mom because i was like this is life-changing you have to try it so my mom has it right now but in the description link there is a 10 percent off code um and a link below to be able to get some of this and if any of you are out there going man i hate having to brush through my hair it's so dry this stuff in one use it made the biggest difference and I'm obsessed with it. So thank you, Marie. I don't know if you wanna, I don't know if you can zoom up on that, but here's the bottles, Marie. Here, babe, show everyone. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom, zoom up this Ooh, way. 
There it is. Again, in the link below, go get yourself some. Your hair deserves it, and it's amazing. It's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> um, okay, so Teffy is now, I mean, since it only took one minute to get through my hair. Yeah, that was quicker than I expected. Because <laughs> <laughs> it just glides, right? Yeah. Um, that was easy. Yeah, so the first thing, Teffy, what's the first step in getting the perfect poof? Okay, you have to set your hair first. So mm -hmm. right now I just parted like the front hairs out and... Define set uh, for a guy here that has no idea what <laughs> you're talking about. What does set mean? Um, like a wet set. So like so kind, kind of form it the way you're, you want it yeah. to... Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so to form it, and what was the purpose of like, so you're setting it so that the hair will kind of be trained to go a specific direction, yeah, right? Yeah, you want it to go like down. So a set is going to be like... Oh, I can already see it happening. Okay, oh, can boy. you all see the wave? The wave. <laughs> the wave in creation. The poof. Okay, so where so, did where did the wave thing come from? Like It just evolved. I mean like over the years like was it ever was it required or was it something that women no. did out there to like help feel more stylish with the limited options yeah, that you had more like that it was yeah and then did it just got taller and bigger over time you think just all the girls a little bit more competitive and <laughs> something they thought that so so did the women out there think it was like a cool thing to do like it was a trend or everybody did it I mean, right it was, i just i just wonder if they actually thought that it was i'm probably too young to remember where it originated from because okay. yeah, it's always, it was always that way. It was way. always a thing like, it's like a little, what, seven year old, I was combing my own hair, so. And doing it with, yeah. the, with the poof. Learn how to braid, learn how to. Yeah. I remember as well, I, whenever, if you would, if you saw a girl out there and she had her hair just combed back without the poof or without the wave, you would think she was more of like a rebellious a sign of rebellion. A sign of rebellion. <laughs> really? Yeah, and maybe that was part of the reason that everyone thought that that was more of a modest way to do it is have the poof or have the wave. Were there any rules to the poof? Like, were there any restrictions? Because I the know only more restrictions as far as hair was not having it hanging at all. Okay, it so needed to be always. braided up and on your head. Braided so, up and on your head. Okay. Yeah. And we've heard some people have mentioned, you know, the higher the poof, the closer to heaven. Was that a thing? Like trying to get your hair higher to show righteousness? No, that was just... <laughs> <laughs> I was made up, huh? Or at least it wasn't something we talked about in our family. Mm -hmm. How some girls, though, got them really high. <laughs> uh, I remember. I remember. What were the, um, like... You said you didn't have any hair dryers, right? Did you guys, were you ever allowed to curl your hair? I guess you no, couldn't, huh? No. There was hair dryers. I remember a couple people having hair dryers. But, like, nobody had a hair straightener or a curler or anything Really? Because like it always had to be in a braid? Like, a lot of times we'd do this and then, like, do a loose braid or just put, like, an elastic to the bottom and just let it ha uh, hang dry. So you never use like even the foam? For a couple hours. Like, like the foam curlers or anything like that where you okay, leave, leave yes. it overnight? That as a kid, yeah. Okay, so you did with okay. the little ones with the sponge and like yep. you, yeah, roll it up. Yeah, we put those in Lila's hair sometimes. Yeah, those ones. Okay, so you did do that then sometimes. Yes. Okay. Just not the heated curler. Actually, you couldn't have anything fancy. And at what age <laughs> yeah. were you like required to start putting your hair in braids? We're doing it as kids. I mean, like little teeny kids have braids. As soon as you once you can braid it, then braid yep. it. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so now I've got the wave, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so this it's, is that, that's, that's what you call set. So yeah, so this, this is, set. is a set. See. Am I zooming in properly? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay, so you can see the wave, and now what do we do? So this part, you would just like let it air dry? Yeah, a um, little bit of hairspray so it holds. And then just let it dry like that so it, your hair is set. To go that way. Would you ever braid the rest of your hair wet, or would did no, you No, because it kinks it. Ah, uh, see, and growing up for me, I would always ask for my hair to be braided when it was wet, so that it would it curl, would kink it. so that it would kink it and get it all curly. <laughs> but um, a lot of times we just like throw an elastic at the end to like hold it together. Okay. Some girls would roll it up into like a blob, 
Just so these hairs were hanging and it dry around your neck and through here. Gotcha. Quicker. Interesting. So. Now, I know you mentioned before that like you called it combing your hair and combing meant to actually like completely do your hair, right? Because a lot of people think of combing as only brushing through it or combing through it. But I noticed that like you and your sister sometimes yeah. say combing when you That's mean like doing the it, braid, right? the poof, the... Combing is to do the hair. whole thing instead of stay, instead of saying styling. Because yeah, it's the styling or doing your hair. Yeah. yeah. So it's more like a combing yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. So now we wait. Yep. Get so a couple hours while well, we have hair dryers. We have so. hair dryers, right? <laughs> so so we'll no, make this go a lot no more than a couple that. hours. I do have to ask really fast: Is did you ever do this before on anyone else's hair, or did you always just do it yourself? I did all my little sisters all the time. Okay, so this yeah. is this is. I'm this, better at it all myself, but. So this is like yeah. riding a bike for you. You've done this a hundred times. <laughs> I know. Times. She's like, eh, I might be a little rusty. She's like, boom, I already got the wave. <laughs> she, she, was, she was talking the whole time. Probably uh, didn't even realize what you were yeah. doing. It was oh, just, like, it just happened. Just don't overthink it. It's like just naturally. <laughs> oh, okay. So now we're going to go dry the hair? Yep. Let's go dry my hair. Go. Boom. My hair is dry. <laughs> we are back. We are back. Now, Tuffy was just really telling me, too, that a lot of times people would do, when they're trying to set their hair like this, you said they would, like, you use bobby pins and hairspray. Yes. But did you say some people would tape Some them? people would tape, like, the wave to hold it. Oh, I like, remember that. Like, with, like, scotch that. tape? Like, what hair kind of tape? Or... It, it was just clear tape. It looked, it looked yeah. like scotch tape, but I don't know what it would actually like, was. It's not scotch tape. It's, like, the almost materially, what is it? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember oh, what it's called. Like the first aid tape? I don't know for sure, but I do remember I one of my sisters specifically, one of my sisters taping her hair down like that. I do remember Because some of them would tape it like very dramatically. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So sometimes they would tape it and then... It only was... depends on how, which way they or how they want their wave to go. Wave to go. Uh, okay. The taping was only during the part where it was drying and then they'd take yes. it off and do the poof and all that. Okay, and then how long would a typical, how long would a set last? Uh, two to three days. Two to three days. Yeah. Oh, dang. Baby, I'm going to be having the, I got the wave going gonna, on for a couple of days. You're going to rock that it? for a couple of days? You are we, we going to go out on the town? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know if I, I know if I can go out on the town with uh, only one woman, though, if you're going to dress like that. <laughs> 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 oh. Careful, we already have people asking whether or not you want another wife. So. The, answer, the answer is no. The answer is no. I, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with one. <laughs> I'm plenty. So, Okay, so what do you do next after it's been set? Okay, so once it's dried... Is it just going to stay that way? I mean, I guess that's what set We're means. We're about to find yeah. out. It's just like when you... When you go to poof it, you want those hairs to wave. Okay, these you want a rat tail comb. Rat, rat tail comb. That's what we call. I don't even know what they're really called. Huh. All but, I know is I didn't even have one. Tessie was like, "Okay, so I need a tail comb." I was like, "A rat tail comb," and I'm like, "Um, so I don't have one of those." I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, "Hold on, I know there's one probably in the bottom of my bag." And you had one in the bottom. <laughs> and there was. <laughs> wow. Do you still use it at all, or did, did sometimes? You? Okay, yeah, so not it, very often. I know a lot of people use them, especially for like little girls' hair and stuff. Yeah. What's the purpose have. of this comb? It's just the tail. Oh, so just to use the tail yeah. part to hold hair out of the way and that kind of stuff. Just part and it. part. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> See things I didn't know. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna flop hair in your face. That's fine. Hair in the face. <laughs> Um, and there's the poop. No. <laughs> <laughs> the end. And there we go. So also this rat tail comb is for ratting or back combing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh. So you kind of back comb the hair so that you can get that extra volume going. Oh, so that's for volume. Okay. <laughs> this it has is been so, so long since I've done this, you guys. <laughs> How many years? What would have, at this point? What, Probably eight. Eight years ago. Yeah. Is that when you moved out? Eight years ago. Yeah. I'm sure you never did your hair like this after moving out. No. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> One and done. What was the first thing you did when you left that was like, not 
I guess, like, was it your changing your hair, changing your clothes? Did you do it all at once, like, yeah. moving? Or did you kind of have to ease into changing into, like, normal clothes and normal hairstyles? I don't know. I went and got my hair cut and styled was one of the first things. And then went shopping for clothes. So you were ready for the change. So oh, yeah. even, even though you spent, how old were you when you moved out? 20. So even though you spent 20 years of your entire life dressing from wrist to neck to ankle, when you moved out, you were ready to go. You didn't. You didn't even hesitate oh, no. to go to normal clothes. Well, also like the last couple of years I was there, I was kind of dabbling in like mm, okay. stopped doing my hair, doing the rebellious straight back. And oh, like, so you stopped doing the yeah, poof about? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was a rebel. sign of rebellion. I actually owned a couple pair of jeans that I'd oh. sneak out in. Oh, okay. Because when I picked, because I actually picked you up when you decided to move out, I went out yeah. and picked you up, and you were wearing a dress when I picked you up. Yes. Was that just to, to that just please for, the family? Yeah, just okay. saying bye to mother and the kids, and let let them see you without judging you one last time. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you left, well, they're definitely judging me. Still, well, of but, course, yeah. I mean, <laughs> to make the decision to move out, like that, yeah, that's not always a pleasant goodbye. Now, before you had left, did you have any jobs out there or any type of work experience or? Yes, so I worked for a couple years before I left at a, it's called Benchmark. It, we I remember made labels. It. Oh labels and stickers and all that. So I worked for a couple. I need more rats, girl. <laughs> <laughs> more rats. My hair does not naturally have volume at all, so you I have know, to I'm just like, go I crazy. I know, I'm like, I probably add some hairspray in that, so it actually... You go for it. You do whatever you need to do. I do remember walking by any of my sisters doing their hair, walking through a... <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I, I should have... I should have worn a mask every time I walked by. <laughs> It was a cloud of hairspray to keep your hair. I guess it was to keep your hair where you wanted it, but so much hairspray. Also, in the house. we were children. We didn't know how to use it or what we were doing. Uh, <laughs> so you're like, when in doubt, just add a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Half a can later. Yeah. That's awesome. So you're working at this call, place called Benchmark, which was a company owned by the FLDS yes, people. Yes, by the church. It was owned by the church. Okay, and did they pay you, or were you just doing yeah, it for fun? I was getting, I think I was getting paid eight bucks an hour at the time. Eight dollars an hour, okay. And did you work, like, was it a full-time 40 hours a week, or? Yes, like oh. nine to five. Oh, wow. How old were you when you started getting to work? Like outside? I was over 18. Oh, okay. It was after, yeah, that So you, you didn't start super young like some of us guys did? No. Well, I did storehouse stuff. I did, um just not paid okay work. So just like just like yeah that was my first paying job my first paying job and you were 18. were you allowed to keep your wages or did you have to give some to the family as well because i know sam talked about when he first started working at a young age like he had to pay the family well at that time it was after the family got separated and okay. so um i was taking care of mother and a couple of the kids with oh. my eight dollars an hour job Gotcha. Yeah, a lot so, of people oh, have asked that. Yeah, I was, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to ask both of you this yeah. question. But, um, Teffy, you would know more because, babe, were you, were you there when Father got separated? No, I was that not. That was after. Okay. Yeah, so that would have been in probably 2000 and, what, 10 or 2011 that that happened, that he I was think separated? It was around that. So I was, I was out because I moved out in 2008. Eight. Okay, so your brother moved, your oldest brother, um, that we won't name. <laughs> He moved in with the family, right? Because of father being taken away? Yes. Is that right? So this would be my oldest brother from the same mother. Okay. And so, Teffy, when he moved in, like, did he financially... So, you're saying, like, you helped support them. Did the older brother help support at all? Or did your father still support the family? Or, like, what did that financially look like? Um, we separated? were on a lot of church stuff. Oh, okay. When that happened. But, yeah, I think our brother did. Supported you. Well, he owned a company, yeah, I know. Yeah, he had so. a company. And, and like the other boys that were still there was working for him. Okay. So. I worked for him when I was out there, too. Okay, so all the boys kind of would come together to support the household still. Do you know if your father still, like, was required to help financially in some way, or? Yes, he was uh, paying child support on a couple of the kids. Oh, he was? Oh. I didn't know that. Ones. 
Like yeah. legally through the state or just yes. through the church? Through the state. Oh, wow. Well, at this point, the actual government had gotten a lot more involved with the community. So there were legal things that were... Because Warren was already in prison. He was already in prison. The government was involved at this point, and they were requiring that people lived legally (laughs) to some extent, the best they could control it. Gotcha. That's so interesting. Melissa, I am so out of practice on this. Look at this, though. Look at all that volume. I wish I could. It's like, I'm such a girl. I'm like, I want to keep looking at Teffy to talk to her. So, like, <laughs> talking backwards to someone and, like, yeah, trying to make weird. eye contact. Yeah, and everyone in the camera is probably, like, noticing me look that way. I can see into our bathroom. I can see Teffy in a mirror. And so, as I'm talking to her, I'm, like, looking that direction. So, I'm not trying to I don't know avoid the I, audience. I'm <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, though, this this uh, polygamous look evolving on top of your head there. <laughs> you had flashbacks, babe? This is, uh, this is interesting. <laughs> You're like, um, let me see about that. Cancel. Cancel the show. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when you first left Heppy, what was your first job after leaving? Um, and was it hard to get a job? Because you didn't have a high school degree, right? Um, actually, I went and got my GD. Awesome. Yeah. Sam went and dropped me off and I walked in. I bet, so at this point I had, I got my GED and I had just finished it not too long before she decided to move out. And, and I was thinking to myself, man, if I can do this with even less education, I would say quite a bit less education than you got, Taffy. You came out all smart. Like, you, <laughs> you, you knew things and, um, and so I, I basically just went and dropped you off at the GED office and said, go take your GED. Good luck. <laughs> so you, Good luck. How, how long did you prepare for before you were able to... I went in and did a pre-test. And they're like, um, okay, you're good. You passed this and this and this. Now go home and write an essay. And I was like, what is an essay? Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. And so he had to explain it to me and whatnot. And I was like, okay. Um. <laughs> so I went home and wrote an essay that night and then went back the next day and took the test. Yeah. Which Dang. took me, what, 10 hours? It took you a long time. I remember <laughs> dropping you off, picking you up, and uh, it took you a long time, but you passed it first try. What was the, the most, what would you say was the most challenging subject in the, in the test? Um, probably English. English? Yeah. Yeah, for some reason you knew math. I, yeah, I had a knack for math. You just, for you some just reason. naturally knew, knew. I it. just like algebra, all that, I had no struggles. So, and you had. Yeah. So I would probably say your homeschooling experience was a little bit more in depth than mine was because you, after I moved out, you had one of our older brothers that actually got a college degree come, come and help. And he was kind of a, a mathematician in, in a, of sorts. I remember he was pretty smart as far as that stuff goes. So did he help you a lot with math? He helped me, yeah, understand like algebra and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, so maybe that's why you understood it better than I did because Probably. I don't remember really getting a whole, very good. Well, nobody else in that class really got. <laughs> okay, so it was just you. You just kind of it just clicked just for you. Yeah, something. Yeah, because I remember when you first moved out, you you were just you were way better than math at me already, even though I had already started college. I had just yeah. started college, but but I remember thinking, man, you you have this math stuff figured out. So so English was the difficult one. Math was easy. So you got your GED, and then what? Well, that obviously, I'm sure helped getting a job, right? So what was your first yeah. job when you left? Smith's. Uh, Smith's grocery, grocery store. store. Oh, yes. nice. Yeah, that's how you were working when I met you and Sam yeah. and I got together. Well, I worked there for like six years. Oh wow. I like I had several side jobs while I was working for Smith's. So I'd work at Smith's in the morning, and then I'd go waitress at night, or like, or go cleaning, or. Mostly waitressing is what I did at nights. Was it difficult to get like a, or not not to get the job necessarily, but was it odd to work for outside people at all, or was yeah, that people outside the church? Outside of the outside of the FLDS church, was it difficult to work for a different people like that? It's for sure a change, but it was something that I was excited for. So you were so, happy for the change. Yeah. Hmm. That's awesome. What was the biggest culture shock for you after leaving? Shock. I know there's probably a lot, but <laughs> like yeah, there was a lot. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that one. Yeah. What about dating? 
Was that something that you were like I was excited, excited and for dating? With? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. It was quite the experience, that's for sure. And we kind of like hung out with the same kids around or from the church too, kind of vibed with them and okay, so hung you, out with other people that left the church. So because it was people from there, it wasn't as awkward yeah. as, as just meeting people that you, you know, that had never known anything about that community. Yeah, had some friends. And At this time, had your sister already moved out? Were you the yes. first girl? Okay, I couldn't remember which order. She left like, I think it was seven or eight months before I did. Okay, so did you move in with her when you left? No. Or? Um, so I, well, I moved in with you guys for like Yeah, so she moved weeks. in with us for a little bit. It was uh, probably a month, actually. But we were in St. George, Utah, and then it was, after a few months, you moved up to northern Utah, where your sister was. Yeah. And I'm, I honestly don't know for sure what where you moved to at that point, so it wasn't with her? No, it was a, um, like a family that I moved into. Oh, they took okay. me in. Yeah, they took me in for like six months. Oh. That's awesome. How'd you meet them? Through a organization that was helping kids like us. Okay. That so was up there in Salt Lake. Something that got connected with. Yeah. Something similar to like the Lost Boys organization. Yeah. So what was, do you mind saying what the name of that was? And As we can put a link. Holding Out Help. Holding, holding out, out Help. help. I've heard yeah. of this one. Yeah, I've heard of that. So we'll put a link to Holding Out Help in the description. Um, if any of you that are watching have recently left and maybe need help yourself. So Holding Out Help brought you in and kind of uh, helped you. Find a family to help. And if I remember right, one of the main reasons you wanted to move up north was to be closer to your sister. Yeah. Because, I mean, it makes sense, you know, she was the only other girl from our family that had moved out at this point. So, I bet you, was... you two are still the only two girls, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, that's true. Only two girls. We need to get more sisters out. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen some of my uh, uh, other sisters for, jeez. Uh, some of them, as long as I've moved out, since I moved out, I haven't seen uh, a lot of them. Do you think a lot of them are staying toughy because, like, at this point, because Warren isn't marrying anybody anymore, and so their lives are like they don't have the same expectations that you guys had? I don't even know. Like, it's so weird. Also, they're so much younger than we were. Mm. Like, because like my sister and I was in a group of boys. Mm -hmm. Like in between all the boys. And like most of the boys have left. So it was easier for you to move yeah. out because all of the boys around your age yeah. moved out. Like the girls younger than us now are just barely hitting 18 now. Oh wow. So we will see what happens. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I mean, obviously it'd be nice now they have so much more support out here. When they yeah. do decide to move out, there's a lot of us out here. We can help, for sure. Yeah. Hopefully. So is it... So... Okay, so back to culture shock. So you move out, you went and got your GED. I kind of forced you to. You <laughs> you you seem okay about it though. Oh, I'm grateful to this day for that. Okay, good because yeah. it, it helped with jobs and all that. Yeah, I had I did apply to several jobs trying to get a job. Like, took me a few months. Okay, before you and got the, the Smith job. Yeah, and the lady that actually hired me. I think she heard where I was from. She hired me out of curiosity. <laughs> She's like, hey, She's this will like, be I interesting. Want to know more you're, about you're, <laughs> you're hired. You work for me and you tell me all your stories. Yeah. I remember my first job, I know this is not about me necessarily, but now, now it's kind of because you mentioned that. My uh, first job was working with uh, actually at a car wash, aside from construction, which me and my brothers did a little bit of. but. After I got out of construction, I, I went to a car wash, and it, this was in St. George, Utah, and when the when the when one of the co-workers there realized where I was from, we started talking, and we were cleaning a car together, and, and when he realized where I was from, he, like, jaw dropped. He, he couldn't believe it. He was like, wait, what? Because people from St. George had heard about that place, and, and it was all over the news at this point, so... I imagine that was similar well, for you. Well, they see him too coming to the like Costco and whatnot, but nobody would ever talk to him. Right. People here in St. George. Yeah, right there. <laughs> so, so I don't yeah. know what you're doing to my hair right now, but it feels so good. I love when people play with my hair, and I'm like about to take a little nap. She's like, putting if you. If I was a cat, you I'd be purring right now. <laughs> like it feels so good. Maybe you should come do a close up on this, babe. Okay. See what you're doing back there. Are you braiding? Yeah. So are you just braiding 
yeah, one just side of the back. hair at this point. Yes. So I'm going to do two braids on this side. One on this side, one on this side, and then I'm going to blob it. Oh. I better get around the so. other side, too. <laughs> Jeez. Hi. How are you feeling, babe? Are you, are you, are you liking this? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm kind of wishing that Tuffy was here to do my hair every whoa. day. Not that she has to do a poof every day, but, like, I could totally be down with someone like, doing my hair for my hair. day. <laughs> the side of this hair is bringing back so <laughs> many memories. Wow. So what do you call this this type of braid? A double French braid. Double French braid. I think. <laughs> there you go. Might all. question myself right now. If, if you remember right, that's what it's called. <laughs> it looks like a double French braid. I, I kind of just made. I don't know what that even means, but. <laughs> sounds good. It sounds good. Sounds about right. Sounds fancy. Let's roll with it. <laughs> so you've heard of French braids too before, babe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this isn't just from out there. No. So I mean, you, a French braid is, I'm guessing French. I was, I was going to ask. Is it, is I, know, it I don't know where it came from, but a lot of people do French braids now, so I was going to do a devil one just to plug it up a little more. There we go. It seemed like people from FLDS community always try to do something beyond the norm to, to I don't know, that's all they could really do. They yeah, couldn't, they couldn't wear. what we played with and kind of, I don't know. Well, couldn't really do ourselves. makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there was no makeup allowed, right? No. Okay, no makeup. Were you allowed to cut your hair? No, but I did. You Ooh. did cut your hair. And <laughs> by cut, you mean, you mean a, a slight trim at the bottom? or? Um, usually, just to straighten it off. But also, um, I chopped probably like a good six inches once and six? got yelled out. I was going to say, who yelled at you? <laughs> Mother. Okay, she probably didn't like that, huh? Did they tell you why, like, why you weren't allowed to cut your hair? Um, Besides our me. hair was considered sacred. It was, like, your crown almost. Oh. That's kind of how they described it. And you know how the story of Jesus and how the lady washed his feet with her hair, however mm -hmm. it goes? I know the story, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was just so they would tell you they those? They let you color it or cut it or... They just want it done up, braided, and so not hanging. So interesting. Interesting. So what kind of things could you do to show any kind of personality? Like, were you... Um, I know you had mentioned before that, like, you could only wear certain, like, dresses and colors. And what were you allowed to, like, do to show any kind of personality? Hair. We do little tweaks on our dresses, too sometimes well designs or whatever um i don't know it's so restricted <laughs> what kind of colors now the color thing didn't happen until later when warren took over right um or kind of but like red was never really a acceptable color there red i think was the main one red and black partly you wear black well, boys wore black. That was kind of more of a, a family rule, not a church yeah. rule. Uh, huh. I know that my mother would tell me not to wear red or black. Oh. Uh, she black would be like half of my wardrobe. She would say gone. things. <laughs> she would say things like, "The red is a sacred color reserved for Christ on His returning." Oh. And black, he she said, was an evil color. So those were two colors that she did not want me to wear. I know, I know the black thing was kind of, uh, it was just a her, it was a mother rule. It wasn't the church rule. Gotcha. Huh. But I don't think I ever saw any women wearing black, black dresses. Black dresses, no. It was usually like pastels or, I mean, I guess like darker blues and purples and whatnot, but greens. But nothing but, super vibrant or bright, correct? Yeah. That was another thing, like any bright colors. Like oranges and stuff was kind of like this. <laughs> you didn't see that much of. Mm -hmm. Oh man. But what was the craziest restriction? Like, what do you think? What was the first restriction that, like, as growing up, you wanted to rebel against because you were like, "This is just really annoying." Um, we are very just our family in general, like. Um, not being able to talk to boys when we want to talk to boys. <laughs> or friends, actually. Father was very strict on that with us. 
Yes, that is true. Even even if it was friends of the same gender, that she, uh, he, yeah. it was not a lot. He didn't want us to have friends because he would say that other families could be a bad influence. Yeah. So even yeah. though they were members of the church, he still didn't want them to be a bad influence because every family had their own rules, you know, and, mm-hmm. and, and liked to do things a certain way. And father was a man of rules. He had a lot of rules. He liked us to, you know... Uh, there were a lot of rules. That's all I can say. So, <laughs> and then with the mothers on top of his rules, adding their own rules, you know. And like, then, did you guys have to follow every mother's rules? Like, Teffy, if, did you have to follow the rules that Sam's mother would have to or would ask about? Or, no, um, not really. It was. Did each mother have like certain rules that kind of only her children had to follow then, or were they like wide family rules? I would say yes. And I would say that some mothers were more strict than others. Yeah, when, like my mother was a lot more lenient. Than yes. Me. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> my mother was the kind of mother that would bring all of her children down and sit us down in her room and, and have a long discussion about oh, yeah. church A couple things. hours later, we're like, you guys are still in there? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Okay? She, she was, she's very... She is very, uh, I guess, passionate about her beliefs. Mm. Very much so. So, anyway, we would have a lot of conversations with her, and and so I, if looking back, you can correct me if it was different for you, Taffy. But for me, it seemed like each mother would kind of in, um, enforce father's rules, yeah. and then sometimes have their own rules. But their own rules were more for their own children. Yeah. And she she did not like us playing with you boys. It seemed like us girls. Which who didn't? Molly Vaughn. Oh my my mother yeah. didn't like you playing with uh, the boys. Uh, Leave the boys alone. I don't I don't. Got to do the dishes. Oh yeah, oh, it doesn't man. surprise me. I I do remember that the girls yeah, weren't always allowed to play with us. I have a hair tie. Or that yeah. Okay, we grab my hair tie. You need a hair tie in front of the computer. I got the hair tie. So now at this point you are tying the bottom. Yes. Was there any because kind? Because they of... don't want anything hanging. Oh, so so no, we would no hanging hair. Yeah, we would roll it up. Oh no! Like not even a couple like inches. Not even the tail. Yeah, no tail. Oh my goodness. Okay, I feel like that. Who comes that, up with it? Who came up with so these rules for hair? hair? Was another sign of rebellion. Oh. Good so, gracious. Yeah. yeah. Who came up with the rules? Like, where did you hear these rules from? I don't even know. Honestly. I feel like things got more strict over time because when I was younger, I remember a few inches of hanging hair. Like they would that just is true. they would just tie a rubber band at the bottom. I don't remember the having to roll it up rule. That that, cool. that was newer. It was like, a newer rule. In the, Last few years I was there. Because the last few year, years that you were there is kind of when things got a lot more crazy, right? Oh, yeah. Well, even after I left, it went even so much even worse. worse. Yeah. I mean, I left in uh, 2013. I'm like, into like 15, 2014, 15, 16. It was, it was rough out there. Mm-hmm. A lot of traumatic experiences I've heard people talk about, and yeah, Sam kind of got out in a really. I got good out at a, at a decent time. Things were starting to change, and things were starting to get more strict and weird rules, but nothing like what happened after I moved out. Yeah. So that's so good. How do you not have a scrunchie? It's like the in thing nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I am not that fashionable or that in on the latest trends. <laughs> I can't believe how fast you just whipped this out here. Look I at know. This. Okay, I cannot wait to see this. I am very rusty. I'm just going to tell you guys that. Hey, it looks amazing to me. I just, you get the gist anyways. You get the idea. And it, would you say this is about how long it took to do it on a... On yourself? On like yourself. Very usually. You would do it faster because yeah. you did it so often? Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I remember you girls getting ready really quick. It's like, we would do our hair in probably like 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. So like a braid really like this fast. you could do? Yeah. Dang. Whip it out quite quick. This look on you. <laughs> wow. 
What do you think, babe? I mean, you pull it off well, I will say that. <laughs> you pull it off well, but... Would you have snuck out behind the elk pen to kiss me? I definitely would have. <laughs> In fact, I might just take you to an elk pen right now. <laughs> well, we even have an awesome treat because uh, Teffy brought a dress for me. Yep, so we even get to Are you put like, on Is my hair done, huh? Yeah. Your hair's done, so, so oh give goodness. it a little spin. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. here I, I need to I need to zoom up on this. This okay. is this is whoa. Oh yeah, I'm crusty, guys. I'm out of practice. <laughs> that does not look like out of practice to me. This like, is. But you get the idea at least. Wow, that braid. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this. Are you gonna go out to dinner with me tonight like this, babe? Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're not too weirded out. <laughs> uh... Yeah, okay. Okay, you're absolutely grab... not wearing the dress out with me. <laughs> I won't do the dress, but how could I not rock? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see it. Um, I'm going to stick the dress on real quick, and then Teffy can tell us a little about, about the dress because she made it, and it's yours, right? Yeah. Okay. So you made this dress. This dress is the one I actually left in, so. So this is the I dress, it. <laughs> and it's the only dress you have. Yes. Okay, so you made this dress. How old were you when you made it? It's one of my newer ones, so probably 1920. 1920. And yeah. did and you make all of your dresses? Since I was like 10. Oh, yeah. Did you, would you say most of the women out there knew how to sew and make dresses? Um, at least half of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's wow. a lot of them that do. A lot. Yeah. And if they don't, there were other people that could do it that for them. That's one of my storehouse projects, though, was sewing for the storehouse. Oh, dresses, so you, you, underwear. Wow, all the things. Then yeah. the women would go would go out there and buy them, or were they free? It's for the storehouse, so yeah, I, I think they're free. Who knows? And the storehouse was church owned, right? Yeah. Okay. So really, while we're on the topic of dresses and that, well, let me go change. Okay. Let me go change, and then we'll. And then do we'll our get back questions. to the topic. Okay, sounds good. We'll be right back. <laughs> Here's the dress. Oh this is, no! <laughs> my. So this is gosh. the dress that. Teffy left in. I can't. I can't even. <laughs> it's I, a little much. It's yeah. crazy. Like oh. the the dress is that, so pretty, though. Like I mean, I know it looks like a prairie dress, to, so to you guys that means like a lot more. But the fact that she made it. But she made this. Like I'm like super impressed. Oh, thank super you. impressed. I was trying to be rebellious and do a little lower cut neckline. Ooh, oh. so this is beginning to be a little scandalous. <laughs> Oh, cool. And then you were saying, <laughs> you were saying too, like, look at these buttons. Oh, these the little loops and look the details. Look at the loops and the buttons and the details and on the sleeves. So, With so cute. your hair, the, uh, I, I, I don't, I'm speechless. <laughs> Not because, well, I just don't know what to say about this. This is, this is, I'm you pleased. look, I'm, take off, take off any makeup and everything and you would blend right in a hundred percent. It's with your tricky. hair and dress. We're gonna have to take off makeup at the end of the video. So we set up a mirror, so now is my chance to get to see myself. And uh, yeah, can you see me okay, babe? I'm gonna go to where I can see Yeah, you. I'll follow you around. Okay. Oh my gosh. Guys, I look just like Oh my gosh! <laughs> I look just like all the women that I grew up seeing in Walmart and Costco. Like, and you've always wanted to look just like them, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never made that. Give you a second glance, I'd just be like, oh yeah, well. Please. Yeah, if you were out there oh amongst them, gosh. you would not have any strange glances. You, you, Do you, you think your mother would walk past you? You passed her like that in the store. Probably, I don't know if she'd recognize me at all. And my hair, that poof is amazing. Yeah. Miss, I'm feeling rusty. Yeah, right. Look at this. Look at that. It's all perfectly. And it's like so poofy. I want to see. So I much see volume. Back. Here, take a picture yeah. of the back so I can get to see a picture of the back. Take a picture one. Oh, wait. Oh. Go back. Here, I can do one, maybe. I got a picture. Okay. Because I want to see this, but wow, like the perfect. Whoop. Okay, this is crazy. Let me get a little bit farther back so you can see it's the full. It's trippy. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> all the way down to almost ankles, or is it all the way to ankles? It's, yeah, I'd say it's all yeah. the ankles. That was a requirement. You're doing gym shoes on. 
There were, exactly, right. There were never, you were never allowed to go much higher than that, right? You were supposed to go to ankles almost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so as far as, so wrist to ankles. That's what I was going to say. Usually like, up to the right neck, that's why I'm saying a little rebellious. So this is rebellious, going right here. So normally you have to be like yeah. all the way up to your collarbone. Collarbone. Okay, so up to your collarbone, down to your wrist, down to your ankles. Mm -hmm. And did they tell you it, that was just a modesty thing? Like, yeah. just. Well, we wore long underwear. Like to ankles and we're supposed to cover the long underwear. Okay, and what was so, the long underwear for? Just undergarments. Just undergarments. So what was our long? <laughs> <laughs> so long underwear, I remember, was something that we start wearing when we were about eight years old, correct? Yeah. Probably. And the yeah, church required it. It was a it was a symbol of being righteous in in the church, and you you had to wear it at all times, even. Even going even to bed and, and everything. Even as a, starting as an eight year old. An eight wow. year eight years old is when we would typically <laughs> be baptized in the church. So but yeah, so the, the community or the church would make this underwear, but it would cover from your wrists uh, almost to your neck and all the way down to ankle. Yeah. Was it all one piece or was it two pieces? It was a one piece. One piece, one yeah. Piece jumper underwear. Okay. Yeah. And, and it would snap down the front. Slip underneath our dresses as well. How hot yeah. did that get? So you had the full body thing, and then you had a slip, and then you had this dress. Yeah, plus your leggings and your. So you wore leggings under this too. Yeah. Like am I getting a little or scandalous tight. here for you, babe? Like what? yeah. Yeah, I can see too much leg there. there. Watch out. <laughs> okay, uh, so you had to wear leggings or tights under it. Either. As well. Yeah. Okay. A lot of women would actually wear even jeans if they were like riding a horse or something. Yeah. Oh, I, wow. I, I saw that happen. Or. So, you, so jeans wouldn't cover enough though? Like why did you still have to wear well, a dress over jeans? Well, you'd dress and then jeans just because when you're on a horse, then your skirt's a little bit up. Would come up. Yeah. But you couldn't wear just jeans? No. no. Even if it went all the way to your ankles and you wore a long shirt? No. No. Had to be dressed still. Yes. Did they ever tell you why? Sorry, I'm such a why person. Like I grew yeah. up always where it's like, why, 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 why? Because we didn't really question it. It just went yeah. with it. I don't I know. when you're raised that way, you don't think yeah. about it again, right? It's just normal. Which makes sense. Yeah, swimming like this. Yes, swimming. <laughs> In fact, uh, there was. Just, you can see that getting really heavy early. There's quick. a yeah. there's a story of of uh, women swimming or on actually uh, let's see skiing water skiing behind boats at, on at, on like Lake Powell and other big lakes wearing these dresses. Oh my gosh. So they were the dress was just flying behind them as they were uh, okay. skiing oh. behind a boat. Yeah. <laughs> that would be crazy. Oh, okay, that's question. a skill. As far as girly stuff goes, like that time of the month, how did that work having a piece of underwear that was like that you had a well, big it was one piece? Cut out. Oh, okay, so yeah. I had to cut out. I had to cut out. Yeah. Okay, that probably I'm like so that would be <laughs> awful. Like I can't even imagine. Hold on, let me undress so I can go. Well that but even yeah. like attaching like a pad to something. Yeah. Right, like, well, it, it had a cut out and then we had the underpants. Right, so there was a cut out there and then we'd wear, even for the guys, we'd wear normal underwear or boxers, whatever you want to call it for the guys. Oh, I didn't know that. Over, and we'd pull those over top of the, of the long religious underwear or garment. Wait. So wait, the regular underwear was under the religious underwear? Over top. Over top of it? I believe. No. No, it was under? underneath. It no, the religious was under. Yeah. Religious, like yeah. the garment. Yeah. Wait, the, the first thing you put on is your underwear. The long garment. The garment. Yeah. The first thing you put on is the garment. And then you pull then underwear. regular underwear, underpants, so whatever you want. They put their bra over their underwear. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Over the, the garment. Yeah, over the garments. Yeah. Okay. And they would and then call the slip. And then the dress and your leggings, your socks. Did they call them garments out there? Do you remember? It's underwear. They called that underwear. Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. Man, that just sounds like such a pain for that time. It, it was a one like, piece. It's like a one piece with snaps up the front. Okay. It has the cutout. Is what it looked, I wish I had one, but... So yeah, you we could, yeah, like, I, I, I definitely don't have them either. <laughs> I did not bring those out with me. Yeah. Oh, man. That was another thing. As a rebellious person, you'd stop wearing your underwear. Yep. Oh, okay. So, as a way to show. Yeah. Could you tell what other people were or weren't wearing there? Underwear? It was yeah. difficult. Yeah. I feel like if it's like that, if you always had to be that covered, how would people... It was that? difficult to see whether or not you were because it, there weren't any underwear lines because it would go down to your wrist and down to your ankle. Gotcha. 
Gotcha. So it was hard to see whether or not you were. I remember a lot of times when I was younger and if I would go out on job sites, when I started rebelling a little bit, I stopped t wearing my underwear. Yeah. Uh, or the, the religious underwear. Yeah. <laughs> not the underpants. Not the, just, just, the, just the religious <laughs> not portion. Not the underpants, just the underwear. <laughs> So, but yeah, very, there was a lot of clothing, even if someone was swimming or whatever they were doing, it was a lot of clothing all the time. That's why I can't swim yet. Just <laughs> Can you still not swim? I still can't Still haven't swim. learned? Uh -huh. Sam, we have a video about the fact that he didn't learn until he was I would have 19? been even older. I actually learned uh, later on when I got back from Chile, so I would have been At least 21, 22 when I learned. Gotcha. Maybe we can do a video on that, teaching tech. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, I think there's only really one thing left to complete my look. So they never, you weren't allowed to wear, were you allowed to wear jewelry? No. No okay. necklace, oh, no. no nothing. No so piercings, I'm there. no piercings. No piercings no. at all? Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like being raised LDS, we were allowed to have one piercing in each year. That was one, one of the first things we did when we left. It was one pierced our ears. Okay, so do you gotcha. wear earrings now? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I have only tiny ones in right now. Okay, just like little <laughs> studs or whatever they're yeah. called. Okay, but the, all last, right. the last piece of the puzzle. You got to so take off all that beautiful makeup. Take off the face. So, See, I'll be right back we are with all... the completed look. <laughs> all right. And we're back without makeup. Ta-da! You look great without makeup anyway, so. Thanks, babe. So here I am in all of my polygamous unmakeover glory. A little spin for y'all, right, check out the hair. I'm speechless. <laughs> and, no words. No words. Yeah, a lot of people have asked though, um, cause we were just really talking about teeth. Like you guys both have straight teeth. Were you allowed to get um, braces? Yeah. Right, like yeah. everyone was still allowed to get braces and stuff. Did you guys go to Dentist and orthodontist in the area, or did you guys have to go outside the community to like go and take care of your teeth? Our family went outside the community. Yes, there was yeah. a dentist in the community, but we always went to Hurricane Utah for all of our dental care. And uh, our father was actually pretty strict on. We had like yearly checkups or something. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I will say I was not, even though we were supposed to be really good at it, I wasn't good at brushing my teeth out there. Um, I mean, I did brush it, but not as well as I should have. And my teeth, you got braces out there, right? I bought my, when I got my paying job, then I bought my. You bought braces. yourself some braces, yes. okay. I didn't get braces until I had moved out. Yeah. So I, I waited a little while to get braces. Um, I was still in my braces when I left. That's true, that's true. You still have to go back to your appointments. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I remember I didn't, <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> I, I can't take you, I can't take you seriously. You're, I feel very serious. You're now. you're you're very confident right now. You you you're, you're pulling off this look very well. Yeah. Hey, no I'm dancing. Fine. No dancing allowed while oh. dressed that while, while no dressed that way. Fun. No fun. Just enjoyment. No I fun. Just, we'll sit here and keep sweet. <laughs> oh boy. Don't you you, don't say those words while dressed that way. That, too many. It's disturbing. Yeah, it's too disturbing. Every time I see myself in the mirror over here, I'm like, <laughs> who that? Who's that? Exactly. Oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm a little baby here, but Wow. Well, I must say, funny. you, uh, this dress you made here, Teffy, was pretty well made and almost a little bit on the rebellious side, yeah. I would say. This is a rebellious dress? Compared yes. to some of the other ones. I mean, beyond the fact that you can see it's... a little bit of collarbone right there. <laughs> yeah, well, usually they have like the full pleats and the fuller skirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is almost it's a little bit tighter. Yeah, this yeah. is more fitted. And it's a dark maroon color, which trying to tip on the you're right trying side. to get as rebellious as you possibly could there, I so see. So anything more form-fitting was considered more rebellious? Yeah. Okay. Because they didn't want anything that would show your shape. Yeah. Yeah. So the fact you're, that you're I looking, can see my waist here. You're looking too beautiful there with your hourglass <laughs> look. So. Would you still have liked me, babe, if I had been out there? Yeah, I would have, I would have brought you out with me. Oh, okay. Good, so good, good. I'm not by any means saying that I would prefer this look over your normal look, <laughs> but you do pull it off very well. You're quite the hot plague. You're quite the you're quite the hot as we called them pligs, huh? When we were out there, I remember we would always call we'd call ourselves pligs, short for polygamists. Plig kids. Plig kids, yeah. So we'd even did you ever do this yeah. in in Walmart or something? If you would, while we were still living out there, 
Uh, if you saw another person from out there, you would say, "Hey, Plague, what's up?" It was it was okay to to joke about it when you were a part of it, but now now I wouldn't dare say that. I'd get in trouble. <laughs> but offend somebody. Just kidding. All right. Well, as far as uh, uh, makeup goes, nothing was allowed. Is that correct? Nope. I did pluck my eyebrows. Oh. Was that a, was that yeah. a sign of rebellion as well? Yeah. Usually. So just, plucking eyebrows. I remember seeing women out there that had it looked like one large eyebrow. Yeah, you got to separate them. You don't want that unibrow, y'all. Yeah. Were you allowed to shave your legs? Like, did you guys shave your legs? No. <gasps> no. Oh what? My I know never. some families did, but like, I don't know. Maybe it's just like mom never taught us or anything. But so you never I did, shaved like, your legs. As I got older, and I was like, this is disgusting, and went and bought me. Some razors, but like, I mean, it's not like anyone ever saw your legs yeah. anyway, though. Yeah. I know, but it's not all about for other people. But for like it's my younger your teens comfort. and stuff, like never was taught that. It's like, oh, hairy armpits, so what's going on there? <laughs> so when you guys did, when you did find out things where you're like, okay, I want to shave my legs, like, did you have to go and sneak, sneak that kind of stuff? Sneak the razors and sneak and teach ourselves how to do it too. Oh, because it was kind of. Did you ever cut yourself accidentally oh, yeah. trying to figure? You did. I think yeah. every girl cuts themselves the okay. first time they try yeah. to shave their legs. Well, I you never... just hope that you don't cut yourself too much. Like, yeah, and that's even when your mom's a, like. I remember I wasn't allowed to shave my legs until I turned twelve. Is when I was allowed to, and even then, like luckily my mom taught me to be like really careful on your shin bone and stuff. But I had a friend who did when she was twelve and like cut off a piece of her shin. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it can get, oh. yeah. Yeah, I, remember, I feel I mean, like that's a common learning curve is learning how to shave your legs and yeah. not cut yourself. That kind of stuff we were, I mean, I was never taught. It's kind of winging it. <laughs> Just kind of do it, whatever. Yeah. As boys, we were required to shave our faces, but I don't remember really getting taught how to do it. We just kind of figured it out. But you saw the older boys doing it. So exactly. You figured it out. Yeah. Exactly. I thought I was so cool the first time I shaved. Was that You're like one chin? Uh, one, one, one chin hair, yep. Yeah. Now, now he wishes he only had one chin. Now I wish. It's such a pain. I have, my, my beard's too full at this point. A five o'clock shadow comes in. Oh, yeah. It does. Sure. It, it really does. does. What, um, like, what, after leaving, was it hard to figure out, like, what your style was and what kind of things you did like wearing? I'm or? still figuring that out. <laughs> <laughs> still trying to figure still out. Still trying to figure out yeah. what you like. Well, 20 yeah. years of living that hard. way, you know. It would take some time to change. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to figure out who you are and what you like, and it's been a journey. No, yeah. No. <laughs> Even, I think everyone goes through that. Even the guys. I, I remember coming out and I was trying to figure out how to style my hair without making it the normal comb over that looked like I was from out there. The blonde tips. The, you know, see, I never did that, but some of my brothers did that with some, with some blonde <laughs> tips. They're going. Like, I can dye my hair now too. <laughs> yeah, I did dye my hair a couple times just to experience it, but it was more just like a now. I did go, I went... <laughs> I actually dyed my hair black one time when I was living out there uh, just oh, wow. b because I was curious and I was in Walmart one time and I had some of my own money and I purchased a box of that 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 hair dye for <laughs> man and it was just brown it was just brown but I didn't read or maybe I didn't know no I, just, I guess I just didn't read the instructions I don't know but I left it in for way too long so my hair ended up pitch black what did your mother say she just at the, it was dyed at that point. But she, when she first saw me, she said, Samuel, get that out of your hair. <laughs> and I said, uh, sorry, mother, it is permanent. And so she was not happy. But f when father saw it, he actually liked it. He was like, oh, your hair looks great, Samuel. And uh, so I said, I looked at my mom and I said, uh -huh. Huh? <laughs> he likes it. So we're good. But lucky. Anyway, I got away with it somehow. That's super funny. Well, thank you, Teffy, for giving me the full unmakeover. And You're still tripping me out. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm as like, soon yeah. as Teffy and Sam can look at me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can look at me straight, then, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to rock the full outfit to dinner, but I will rock the hair. You're going to keep the hair. I got to keep the hair. Well, look at all the work that went into it. It is, it yeah, is very it beautiful. It is a process. It is a process, and so... You know, we can't put this much work into it and not be able to rock it for at least one dinner. So we'll see what the people of Las Vegas think of my hair and see if any of them <laughs> recognize it. Yeah, yeah, or if anybody recognizes that that's the look. Like, huh, are you from out there? Exactly, if they know where out there is. 
if we get a lot of comments that are like, why do you guys call it out there? It's for us. It's just it's it's there. That's where everything came from. That's where we're from. And so we just call it out there. Out there. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. thank you all for watching. And if and you enjoyed this video and you want to hear more about what it was like for Sam and Teffy growing up in polygamy, then please like and subscribe. And we will talk to you all we'll soon. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for being here, Teffy. Bye.